the uh, SRX router doesn't come with um, a keyboard and a display. So um, we, we need to have some way that we can communicate um, with the SRX router. Uh, in order to do that, um, you plug in a cable like this one. It's a USB um, cable that you can connect to the console port on the SRX with. And you connect that cable over to your laptop physically to your USB port. So um, in this way, you have um, the USB port. In this way, you have a, a keyboard and you have a display uh, so that you can see what's going on inside the, um, the SIX and we can configure and set up and monitor the traffic that is um, passing through uh, and to our SIX uh, router. I will first demonstrate here quickly um, how that um, goes. I mean, how um, the terminal on, on your Windows laptop there will, um, what, it, what it will look like. So let's bring up um, our workstation here with our SRX and I'll also bring up Pachi. I have it down here as an icon. So um, should come up here, came up on the other screen. I'll bring it over. So what I will do here, I will select my VSRX one. I'll show you all this, how to, to configure that. And there we have it, I'm ready to go. But I have to first power on my uh, VSRX up here. So I'll power that on. Um, and while that is loading, this is the SRX, the physical SRX uh, over here. I'll quickly bring up now, uh, start my terminal window here. And you, sh we should be able to see over here um, in the output here, should come up when it continues. And you can see we have, we have the same information here as we have over here in workstation. That's a bit confusing right now. But what, the, what this is, is that this here, this window here is as if you were running on a laptop, a physical laptop. This is a Windows program, the party program here um, that runs on your, you start on Windows, running on Windows, and it's connecting to, um, it's connecting to the, 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 the kind of, um, well, if it was physical, it would be to the physical console port, but it's connecting to our, our virtual VSIX here. You can see now, now we have the login, so I can actually log in here. Uh, with uh, as root and um, I have a oh I'm already in I didn't set a password so um, here this this is the way to communicate with your VSIX through party so let's now go over how to uh, configure that so in order to demonstrate how to configure the, the party uh, terminal program uh, over here and how to configure the VSIX um, to act. Uh, or, or to um, or for us to be able to communicate um, to it from party, I will I will clean uh, what we have here already um, uh, set up and um, start all over again. So I will shut down, power down the SIX, and um, I'll clean that totally. So let us start by configuring the uh, VSIX here for serial communication. Um, I'll right click the VSIX, it's powered off, so I can change the settings. And um, I hadn't expected that to be there, I'll remove that. So um, here in, um, in the um, virtual machine settings, we have to look for the, the serial adapter uh, which is the, the um, identical with the physical serial port over here, um, USB port actually. Um, it's not there, so we have to add it. So I click the add button down here to add this new uh, device. And um, I select, let me remove the drawings. I select the serial port here. This is the serial port. So that will um, mount a serial port on our, on our virtual SIX. And there we have it, serial port. And the, the way we communicate on a Windows machine with um, our SIX, our virtual SIX serial port is uh, by something called, it's a, it's a Microsoft uh, construct for Windows. It is pipes, so they call it pipes. You can Google what pipes are. And so this is what we're going to choose over here. We're going to choose pipe. 
and we we have to name our pipe and the uh, Microsoft pipe here is uh, two times uh, backslash start backslash and then pipe and uh, backslash again and then you have to pick a name for your pipe you can have many pipes so each should have their own name I'm going to call my VSRX underscore one because uh, that is what I call my um, my uh, SRX up here in, in workstation and in my documentation. So um, that uh, should be okay. I'll simply click okay here and um, take away the drawings. And now we have our serial port and it's using the name pipe. And when I hover over the serial port here, I can see um, the name of my, um, my pipe here. We also have to configure our potty uh, terminal over here um, <clears throat> to work with that pipe. So the pipe, you can actually consider the pipe to be the cable between uh, your physical laptop and the physical SRX um, over here. So let's configure the pipe on, on the, um, on, in the potty terminal here. Um, as it is serial communication we're going for, we're going to choose serial. We have to, um, to put in the pipe name here, and uh, we will actually also save our uh, settings here so that we can reuse them later on. Um, I'll tick serial, and we can see it, it now suggests that we use COM port one. That's not what we're going to do. We're going to use our, our pipe here. The most secure way to put in the pipe is actually to go to the VSIX again, um, right click for settings, and go to the serial port, find the serial port, and then copy paste uh, the used named pipe uh, or the, the pipe name you have given over here on the SIX. Copy that, Control C for copy, and then cancel it simply and paste that in over here in, in the party terminal. Then you won't have any uh, typos, any uh, typing errors. Let's check out the serial settings by by clicking the, the serial part here of all these um, settings that we have over here. So I'll click serial and um, let me take that away. And um, we can see that the, the speed, the communication speed is 9,600. That, that is default for the um, SIX console port up here. Um, so leave that as, as it is. Eight data bits, that's okay. That's also the standard for uh, our uh, console port on the SIX and one stop bit. Parity, security, or not security, but error checking is set to none. And uh, flow control, <clears throat> um, the SIX is not using flow control, so we can set it to none. Um, it doesn't harm, I have experienced that, that it's set on, the SIX will simply ignore that. But these are the, the settings that you can, can go with. Um, so to speak. Good. So um, I won't open the terminal yet. I'll click back to the session. Here we are. And uh, as we now have all our settings set, um, we, have, we are ready to connect to our VSIX here uh, by, um, through the uh, Microsoft Windows pipe. So we can fire up our SIX. We can power it on. I'll do that. Uh, I'll click power on this virtual machine. And um, we, we have a window over here to our VSIX. That's actually also a terminal window that we can use to communicate with our VSIX. But uh, Putty is so much more convenient. So I'm going to open Putty now over here simply by clicking open uh, here and um, it will bring up our, our, our terminal window here. And we can, you can see you're actually getting the same information uh, out now on the um, uh, on the uh, console port as you're getting over here in, in the um, uh, uh, workstation window. So out on the console port, over to our laptop, over to our party here. Uh, we're doing that virtually, so um, it's, it's coming actually from our VSIX, all this information here that we see in our party window. So let us uh, let that finish um, booting, and there we are. We, we have our VSIX booted up and it's, it's ready for login. Um, so I can actually log in here now. And uh, there we go. We are, in, um, we are inside. We uh, have communication. 
when we have set up our uh, party for some serial communication with a networking device, um, it's always nice to, to save these settings and um, so that we can recall them later without having to go through all the hassle of uh, choosing a name, setting all the parameters, parameters, sorry, and, and checking everything. So uh, let's save our session here so that we have it for later use. Um, you have to give your uh, session a name. I would simply choose VSIX1 here. You could you can use any name that you like that is descriptive of what these uh, settings are for. And I simply click uh, save and boom, there they are down in the same list here. So if I, um, if I uh, open here, that will not work. Oh, it actually worked because our VSIX is powered on. I'll close it all. Are you sure you want to close the session? Yes, I am. And then I'll bring up Party again to show you that I have saved um, the uh, session here. So I'll bring that in. It, so you can see this is a fresh Party. Um, nothing is, is, has been chosen for communication. So um, you, you can see that uh, right now it's set to SSH. That's not what we want. We, we want serial and uh, we want to use a pipe here. It's not there. So what we do is simply clicking down here in the saved sessions, the, the name we want, and uh, click the load button. And uh, now we are having the, the pipe as our communication line here, and uh, it's serial and all the settings are saved. We can check the settings. Yes, that, that is uh, what, what we said earlier. So uh, brilliant. Um, everything's okay, and we can uh, reconnect to our uh, uh, VSIX here with our saved settings. You will maybe realize when you start your party that it has um, a black background uh, and white text. I have simply changed that by um, right clicking uh, the little icon to uh, PCs up there in the upper left hand corner and you go into change settings and um, here we are change settings. Down here we have the, the windows. Uh, and appearance and colors settings. So I'm going to, to choose colors. And what I have done here is that I have chosen the, um, the default foreground to be um, black, because the foreground is the text. I'll cancel that. And the default uh, background, I have uh, chosen that. You can see that here to, um, in, in this uh, sample here. I've chosen that to be white. So I have a white background and uh, I have a black text. I, I find that's, that um, being the most uh, pleasant to look at uh, in the long run. So, um, but it's up to you what color scheme you want. You can play around with the, the color settings, uh, but they will, uh, party will actually remember the settings you have set um, from session to session. So choose something that you, are, you find pleasant to work with because you're going to use party a lot with the URSIX.